schools. Right now, Carroll County, one of a few districts in Maryland, leaving the decision up to parents. After a heated school board meeting last night, Rachel Carden first reported on the two polarizing sides. She joined us now with a reaction from parents in the community. Rachel? That's right, Denise. Yeah, last night people felt very, very strongly when they spoke to the school board today. We found a few more folks that are a little bit more in that gray area. Many saying that they do like having an option, but that their kids will go to school with a mask regardless. Now, we know that the state board of education mandate has not been voted on. So, because of that, the county's decision overrides it. I refuse to refute to parent my children in fear. Send them masks this first week. Tensions running red hot at a Carroll County School Board meeting on Wednesday. I do understand the desire to return to normal, but I believe the risks of doing so during a, the current pandemic are underappreciated by this board. Some parents calling out the school board for allowing masks in school to be optional when the majority of Maryland counties have made it a requirement. Based on the recommendations of the CDC, the AAP, and 20 of 24 Maryland counties, those 20 counties implemented universal masking prior to the state board of ed's vote on a mask mandate. 24 hours later, parents we spoke to seem more middle of the road. The mask wearing, while not pleasant, like it's not my favorite thing to do, but it's a very minimal thing that you can do to help other folks. I think that people should be responsible for their own families. Um, I don't really care for the fact that someone else would make a decision for me and my own children. This mom has two kids in the school system. My children are in kindergarten and second grade. And is worried about the county's lack of a virtual option because with no mask mandate, she worries about consequences with no backup plan. I want them to be in school five days a week and I don't want to deal with possible COVID exposure and then that just dis disrupting them, having to be home, quarantining. Again, that state board of education vote will go before a legislative committee for review. That happens on Tuesday. Again, if passed, all 24 counties here in Maryland will be required to have students masked up when they're in public school buildings. We're live in Westminster. I'm Rachel Carden for WJZ.